Okay, sixth grade, lesson 88. This is on using proportions to solve ratio problems. Okay, in previous lessons, Eli, you learned this. Remember how we did a ratio and then actual count? Yep, remember us doing this chart? Okay, and we talked about salamanders and frogs maybe. Remember that? Yep. That there were five salamanders to every seven frogs. Okay? And then they told us that there are 20 total salamanders. Do you remember what we did to get that answer? Um, it's been a while ago. Uh, I think you divide something. Close. No. We went times what equals four or 20? So, seven times what equals 20? No, five times what equals 20? Um, five times four, right? Yep, so since we did this times four, this would be times four, and our total number of frogs would be 28. Yep. Okay, but sometimes you're not gonna be able to come up with this times four, okay? And so we're gonna teach you a new way today dealing with proportions, okay? So I want you to watch what I do. Okay, what you're going to do for your lesson today, for your work, here's how you're going to work it. We're going to do just like it says, 5 over 7, like that, equals 20 over X, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, does this look familiar? We've done that too before. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Do you remember how we went, this times this is something, yeah. and this times this is something? That's kind of what I was thinking, 7 times what equals 20. Uh-huh, okay, so let's go ahead and do this. 7 times 20, well, we know that 7 times 2 is 14, and then we have a 0, so 140, and then this is 5 times x equals, right? 5 times whatever x or whatever. Mm -hmm. So 5 times what equals 140? Well, how am I going to answer that? I think um, you divide 140 by 5. Yes, very good. 140 divided by 5. 5 will go into 14, let's see, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, so it goes over. So let's do 2, 10, okay, Four. bring my 40 down. 5 times what equals 40? 8. 8 times 5 is 40, and that gets me 0. So, what's the answer? 28. X is 28. So this X is 28. So we would say X equals 28, or you can just fill in that. Okay? But I want you to learn how to do it like this because sometimes you're not going to just be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, let's do another problem. Okay? And since we have we have a one more, let's do it the um, proportions way and then the other easier way I talked to you earlier. So, ready? Okay, ratio, actual count. Okay, I just put R for ratio. Okay? And then we're going to um, do, here's what it says. The ratio of humpback whales to killer whales was 2 to 7. 2 to 7. What was it? Humpback whales and killer a lot more humpback whales. whales. Humpback whales has 2. Killer whales has 7. The ratio of humpback whales to killer whales was 2 to 7. If there were 42 killer whales... 42 actual count. How many humpback whales were there? We're going to put a W for whales. So it would be two times. No, 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 no. We're not going to do it the easy way. We're going to do no, it the no, I was going to cross. No, that's the easy way. Let's oh. do the proportion way first. Okay. I just taught you it. So what am I going to do? Um, put two over seven. Yeah, oh, and then you do W over 14. Go over 42. 42. I mean. Okay, and then how do I answer this? And then two times these two twenty one, two times. Oh, I was thinking plus. I mean, okay. kind of, because twenty. We're gonna multiply these. When you have equal equations, yeah. you, you multi cross multiply. Okay. Okay. Forty two times two, eighty four. Eighty four. Seven times W. Seven times W. Um. Okay. So now, how am I gonna do this? Oh, 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say 7 times what equals 84. Well, that, what that means I need to do is go 84 divided by 7. And 7 will go into 8 one time. Bring down, all right, subtract, bring down my 4. 7 times what equals 14? 2. And then that comes out even. So I know that W is 12. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay? And the way we learned earlier in, earlier in the year is we just looked at this. 7 times what equals 42? Well, we know it's times 6 because you can easily tell that 7 to, go, to get to 42, you have to multiply it by 6. So this one we have to multiply by 6, which gives us 12. Okay? So this one's a uh, much easier way, but you're not always going to do it this way because a lot of times there's going to be like a 13 here. And 2 times 6 doesn't equal 13. So you're not going to be able to just come up with something simple right there. Okay? So that's why we had to learn to do it that way today. So that's lesson 88.